The Biden administration is planning for a wave of COVID-19 cases this fall and winter. And reporter Phil Lipoff explains the plan in place to combat future surges. The Biden administration is preparing for a possible wave of COVID-19 infections in the fall and winter, hoping to secure COVID funding from Congress. One of the reasons I've been talking a lot about the need for Congress to step up and fund this effort is if they don't, we will go into the fall and winter without that next generation of vaccines, without treatments and diagnostics. That's going to make it much, much harder for us to take care of and protect Americans. The U.S. is currently experiencing another COVID wave, cases rising in nearly every state, according to the CDC, more than 100,000 new cases are being reported every day. COVID-related hospitalizations have risen about 24 percent from the previous week. Health experts say this latest surge is due in part to new variants and subvariants, some of which are increasingly contagious, and that vaccinations are key. If you have not gotten vaccinated in the last five months, if you have not gotten boosted, uh, you need to go out and do that now. Children five and younger are still not eligible for vaccines, though Dr. Jha says a decision on that from the FDA could be made in the coming weeks. Meantime, with the recent spike in COVID cases and hospitalizations, health officials are once again urging everyone to wear masks indoors. In Philadelphia, beginning Monday, children in classrooms will be required to mask up. But New York City's mayor is standing firm, not reinstating an indoor mask mandate. We're not at the point of mandating masks. We're not at the point of doing anything other than urging New Yorkers, while you're indoors in large settings, social settings, where, to, where your mask. He says the city is in a different place with available treatments and vaccines. Phil Lipoff, ABC News, New York.